All right, we're going to go over the blog post for the day, and we're also going to review uh, the menu nodes. Uh, the Death Scourge is live, and the first two nodes, and people are having a lot of success. It doesn't look like it is as hard as we thought it was going to be. It is still a hassle to upgrade minions 1,000%, especially if you uh, don't have any upgraded. And it looks like right now, again, Ravager minions are the best with Merc Lieutenant, Merc Riot Guard. We'll go over that a little bit more. A lot of people are unlocking Mr. Negative free to play today. Recommendation is Striker on his ISO 8. And then also a lot of people are unlocking Archangel. And I am personally going to do Striker on Archangel, but only to Blue ISO 3. I don't want to go to Blue ISO 4 yet because we don't know what Apocalypse Kit looks like. Now in raids, Striker looks like he's gonna have some sort of advantage because of his assist counter information, which you see right here. In raids, apply an additional two bleeds to the target. And then also, Dark Beast is kind of like the nebula of the team. He always assists, and uh, so you're gonna take advantage of the skirmisher striker combo. But Raider might be the right choice in a team of all the horsemen with Apocalypse, but we won't know. So I'm only recommending going to blue ISO three striker. If you wanna do Raider, that's fine. There's also some uh, minor advantage to doing Raider on this character, Death Seed Ally Crit, Heal Self, and all Death Seed Allies for 3% of these character max health. Do what you wanna do. I'm gonna start with Striker, but I'm not going to blue ISO four. Also, this is the correct team placement that seemed to be working best for getting into uh through the first two nodes in the in you unlocking archangel and and uh, the the death scourge uh i did healer right here instead of fortifier but this is the team placement and i believe this person was able to get through uh difficulty eight with 108 scourges which is pretty incredible more impressive than that this was space monkey uh space monkey was able to unlock archangel with this team right here and did not have to upgrade them very high. So it looks like uh, gear tier, I mean, this is level 65, level 50, fine. It, from everybody saying this over and over and over and over, Ravager Stitcher is the carry and people are having tremendous luck. I was able to get through difficulty eight with uh, 356 scourges. Uh, with my team without putting any resources, extra resources into it. And so it is working out just fine. Uh, and I did Ravagers with Merc Riot Guard and Merc Lieutenant. And, and that seems to be it. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is that it looks like it is easier uh, than we thought. So this is what this team got through it on difficulty five with 111 scourges, 502 run, unlock Archangel. So it looks like it's going to be easier than we thought. So we've got a blog post. And this is, we're going to read the blog post and go over all the events. A lot of this was already in the data mines, but we're going to go over it anyways. How the Guardian Stroll group miss. This is going to be an event that requires Guardians. And there are going to be a couple costumes and some things in there. Uh, there's going to be a limited time group miss energy to battle through 10 event nodes and earning Guardian character shards, teal and orange gear and more. There's no need to refresh. The energy is be earned over time, 100 per day. And there will be no refills available. All difficulties will have first time rewards that contain fully crafted bio skill and tech gear, as well as other goodies. These include bits to purchase the Groot's fully trimmed costume. Uh, that's where he looks like a Christmas tree. And then Drax, which got the ugly sweater uh, on the costume. Those are kind of fun. So here are the difficulty requirements. And I just wanted to skip down to here the Guardian difficulty. Uh, seven yellow stars recommended, required, all the Guardians being at seven yellow stars. And then it says recommended at level 85, gear tier 14, four red stars, and then green ISO four. Now, Gamora is a Guardian. And then the other thing I just want to point out is that Rocket and Star-Lord uh, also, need, you know, to max out the Nowhere Heist event, which reoccurs every four weeks or like once a month or so. I uh, need to be a gear tier 15 to get max rewards on that. So I think it's okay to put resources in, but in general, guardians are really bad. Uh, I don't know if I would put a lot of resources in just for this event. Uh, that's for sure. Let's move on. Uh, Har Harbinger of the end. So this is going to be the death seat event campaign. And there's some controversy over this and uh, Omega Red. And we're going to talk about that. Uh, death seed support Inferno Nemesis. Ready to join the battle. And you can recruit him on December 20th. So all these events start on December 20th. During his upcoming event campaign, Harbinger, Harbinger of the End, join Nemesis as he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Top Strike Mutants and attempt to call the humans of Nexus Earth in the name of Apocalypse. Uh, each node in the event campaign awards 
chosen orb fragments, open charge orb fragments for shards of nemesis and select characters with limited time chosen trait, excluding the legendary characters. So the orb will not include Omega Red. Now this has been very controversial. Uh, Omega Red was on this list and then he was removed and Mr. Sinister was put in. And uh, I just got word that Omega Red is going to be added to this list. So this is the chosen list, which is gonna allow to get through the uh, the last, the heroic part of the, the Nemesis event. So I repeat, Omega Red is being added back to the list. Of course, he's a legendary character, so he will not be in the chosen orb shards. Uh, you can earn teal gear on the heroic difficulty and by completing heroic difficulty automatically earns you first time rewards for both the hard and heroic difficulties. Need at least five characters for the limited time chosen trait to attempt the heroic difficulty. So first till your roster by chosen power up these characters for a chance at the heroic difficulty. There will also be a festival frost event running parallel during a portion of the event campaign. We'll cover the bow. Uh, so we're going to keep going on to that festival of frost events and there's a bunch of them. Progeny of Apocalypse. While you're recruiting Nemesis from the Harbinger of the End event campaign, double dip on rewards with the Progeny of Apocalypse event starting on December 20th. Seize gear and red stars for Nemesis along with the Festival of Frost Progress and other rewards uh, with the superior event. So this is the a, a Progeny of Apocalypse milestone. Uh, this is going to be a seven day event and you get points by opening the orbs. And so these will be the rewards in that event. We see right there. And basically this is just an orb opening event, uh, which overlaps with the event campaign leaderboard. Now this is where, uh, again, it looks like they're doing this quite regularly. The only way to get T2 level five ions, it looks like on this one here, you can place in the top 250 or in the top 1%. And it's pretty outrageous. It's basically, they're just auctioning off. Uh, the T2 level five ions. Then there's also going to be a mutant evolution milestone blitz. My goodness, there's going to be two three day blitzes. And I believe that is going to be running during Christmas. I don't know if people are going to be too excited about that. And then you're going to get extra points in this blitz event with using chosen characters. And you get, I believe this is additive, uh, whether they're at gear tier 13 and gear tier 15. Again, here is the list of chosen. You can go in game and sort and see all the characters uh, that have the chosen tag new rain web milestone. And this is going to be a spin campaign energy. Looks like you can spend 700 campaign energy and max out the rewards on this is my understanding. And then the coordinated assault, which they've been running twice a month will be running. And from what I can see the points and everything look exactly the same. A lot of people don't like this, uh, coordinated assault, uh, be, you know, if they're not an alliance that is in agreement to do this. It can really hold people back on their individual milestones on the month long event, which is a, a big bummer snow day celebration. And this is kind of, kind of weird. Uh, no, this one's fine. This is the quick rumble, butts heading your way on December 23rd. So on, so on Spider-Man, no way home costume. Uh, you don't have to traverse into the multiverse to get your hands. The Spider-Man's no way home costume. You have to do is head to the costume store. Uh, this will happen on December 20th strike pass strike pass this month was split into two. And so the first strike pass will be ending and a second one will be starting soon and it's going to have Icarus shards and an Iron Man costume. Elite Store Edition, Dark Beast will be going there. Availability update, Nakia will be going into orbs. Free Claim Friday, uh, which is gonna be starting here soon, uh, which is here now. And I already went and looked at it. This is the free claim for today. There's an offer that pops up after you collect this. I did not buy the offer. I didn't see the value, so I didn't buy it myself. Uh, and then we've got the normal weekly events. And then lastly, it looks like if you're looking for Chromium, you can go into, uh, you can hit, you can go into a character like Archangel or uh, Zombie Iron Man, and you can click find, and you will find the hidden offer, 24 oranges. He does need a total of 61 to get him to the max level uh, so that is it. So what are you thinking about so far about the first two nodes of the Scourge? Are you happy with them? Is it going well? Uh, how high did you have to take your minions? Were you able to go in uh, with a lower powered team than let's say right this and actually unlock Archangel? I, I feel like it's still a hassle to upgrade these, these garbage minions. Again, the ones that I'm recommending are these five right here. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on giving. Bye for now.